a deep invent its own product definition, its own architecture description. And we said, how would you innovate on yourself? And what the system came up with was a new version of its architecture called recursive evolutionary inference, which was about 85% the same as what was in my handwritten notebook and nowhere else that was a product of eight months of thinking about it. And this system came up with it in about eight minutes and it was better than the best thinking that I could muster on it. Um, and so what we decided to do was go through the rest of the process with DeepInvent. It generated its own patent, which then I filed on its behalf, protecting the idea. The AI then that day, that was December 31st, 2024, became the first AI to innovate on its own architecture and then patent itself. And then it generates new intellectual property in that white space, new patents, new ideas in that white space, ideas that have high utility. So they're very useful. They're ideas that should exist, but they're novel because they don't exist yet. And then it will generate those so that innovators can go out and move humanity forward. So it sounds to me like tenants of entrepreneurship are essentially amplified. The idea, for instance, that you should fail fast so that you can put efforts back in the an arena that is perhaps better informed and might be different. When you fail fast, it's because you didn't know what to build in the first place. <laughs> so you kind of are in, in, in with a lack of complete information. You're doing the best you can with the information you have and the human cognitive horizon that you have naturally. And then you're trying to make the best decision you can with incomplete data. And then you go and you put some effort toward it and you start building it. And then in the real world, you start realizing either it's working or it's not. But what if you could actually start the process and much more deeply understand the landscape and what needs to exist that doesn't? So that by the time you start building, you're building exactly what you want to build. It's perfectly aligned with your idea and your passion but it's perfectly contextualized in what else is happening in the world and what needs to exist that doesn't yet. So how you can add the most impact and value to society through that idea. And that's what users on our, our platform are experiencing. That's why you know one user, he was an engineering director doing robotics at Amazon. And he decided that he wanted to see if it could come up with a new type of e-reader.